Hello and welcome to episode 5 of the Bebo's Tech Pack with me, Trionis. So, been a tiny bit busy off camera, I haven't really been doing a right lot as I was finishing off the Oxcast pack uh, yesterday and I just haven't really had too much time but hopefully be able to get a little bit done on recording today. So, I have created some dark armour, as you can see, uh, and this armour stand. I do like these armour stands. Uh, do really do need this arm. I just need the leggings and we should be good to go. I've been mining obsidian, uh, which was nice because I found some obsidian and I also got some uh, extra diamonds. I think about seven, but I used three of them and I'll show you why in a second. Um, but we're getting the dark steel in now. The I've got more than enough there to make the leggings, just two more waiting on. And I can't take them out now, I don't have to wait for the other two, but uh, that's cool. Uh, but uh, the auto farmer, if you're interested, is doing very well indeed. I'm very happy with this. It's already spread to its maximum distance. And I put a golden chest on top of it, and it doesn't mean money for that long. <laughs> and look at all that spruce wood, absolutely cool, and the saplings in there. For some reason it only holds 16. That's a maximum. So that's the reason why I needed to use the uh, three diamonds for the a new diamond axe. And I was able to put efficiency 4 and unbreaking 3 on it using the uh, enchanter that I used. Uh, to get unbreaking you use obsidian. It's going to be an obsidian based mod pack this, isn't it? <laughs> and the efficiency, uh, I got a book, probably from a dungeon or maybe from over there, I can't quite remember, but I found a book with efficiency and law of the sea or something like that, I can't, sorry I can't remember, I'll have to look back, um, and so I use the efficiency on this, I don't know if the efficiency does anything on it, but the unbreaking hopefully should keep the pickaxe in there for a lot longer as per normal so there's no real difference there um i have been wondering whether or not to change the layout of this and you get some of these rubber trees in there just in case if i decide to do any ic2 or minecraft reloaded stuff uh which might be a possibility i, I don't know it as yet uh, I'm doing stuff that I haven't been, I haven't done before, and that's what I'm concentrating on. Uh, but uh, last thing, I've been doing a tiny bit more on Botania. As you can see, there's this do wiki doodah thing here, otherwise known as a mana distributor. And what this does is allows me to get a little bit more mana in, I think, and it spreads it between the two. Uh, mana pools there and there. I can also have another mana pool there and there and then I'd get four lots in and I think I might try and do that at some point. Um, but what I'd like to do is also get some more of these day blooms in and a couple more of these uh, hydro plants. I'm not going to pronounce their name. Uh, one there and one there and then hopefully we'll get a little bit more mana in as well. Uh, maybe even try and get another four on this side as well just to see uh, if that helps at all. Uh, to create the mana distributor, you do actually need mana steel, so I was able to create some of that. Have I got the book on me? No, I have not. Let's just check on things though. Yeah, it's only got a very small amount in. That's starting to get somewhere to my mind, uh, but these mana spreaders seem to be holding a lot more than what they're dispute, uh, distributing. Uh, so, I don't know. But, Hey, what? Let's uh, get inside. It's starting to go a little bit dark. Uh, let's get rid of the night and then we'll make us new armor. Let's see how well this is. So, um, I need this thing over here. So we will get the leggings sorted and we'll put them on there to start with just to have a look. Not bad looking armor, especially for default. I know it's basically the same as what I'm wearing now, but in black. But uh, let's swap this little lot out. There we are. It seems to have got the same sort of armor rating as iron. 
So it's just that things can actually be upgraded in it. So the next thing I want is that glider wing. So I want to see what that does. And I need 15 levels for that. So that'd be kind of cool. Uh, flippers. I don't. I don't know if I want that or not, but uh, definitely want my night vision. Potion of night vision. So that means doing a little bit of vanilla. Uh, sound locator. No block. Hmm. Well, we'll see if we can get the glider up. Uh, I have gone down a lot in levels. We're using the uh, pickaxe and whatnot. Uh, but I probably need just a normal vanilla. I'm not too sure how this works, so we will do that. But first, we actually need to make the glider itself. So, oh, when I can spell, uh, which is this thing. So, I need two of these glider wings uh, and six leather. Now, do I have six leather? I know I've got a little bit. If not, we're going to have to go hunting. I only have three. Okay, is there any way to actually create leather? Imp leather in the nether. Scrap box. Three rotten flesh, a water bucket, and a piece of flint. I think I've been using all my rotten flesh to create monster jerky. It looks like we're going to have to go hunting for cows and or zombies. So, um, yeah, let's go and find some cows, which is fair enough for today's episode. Because I won't mind doing a little bit more exploring. I don't need to carry all this stuff around with me and I'm gonna use that for food later on just in case. Don't need that string or that or them or the obsidian. Where can the obsidian go? Uh with the stone I think. There we go. Just dump them in there while we can then we can get going. So looking for cows and as I've probably mentioned this before in previous episodes Minecraft rules. If you're looking for something, you won't be able to find it. So, I can explore the area a tiny bit more as well, so if we come across anything. Uh, I did actually explore that direction a tiny bit and I came across a zombie uh, thing uh, with a couple of uh, spawners and I found some uh, Uridium ore in there. Uridium ore, Uridium however we want to pronounce it. It's the stuff that you get by creating UU matter, or that's how you used to do it anyway. I don't know if that has actually changed. The sheep and pigs. No cows. So, uh, yeah. Uh, also, I'd like to welcome Eddie to the uh, server. I don't know if you're watching this today, Eddie. I've uh, been watching your videos. Very, very good. Um, I think the reason why you're ahead of me in the farming situation is because you have that spice of life installed and I don't. Uh, I just purely wanted to concentrate on the mod pack itself rather than having to worry about food. Uh, but it's all cool. I do like how you found a castle. I won't mind finding one of them myself. <laughs> so, oh, oh, poison ivy. I hate poison ivy. So... Uh, annoying. <laughs> One of the things in biomes or plenty, you probably run across it yourself. Hello, cows. Oh, that was a nice drop. And same again. Excellent. So we've got the leather that we need, and you're going to die as well, Mr. Cow. Just so I've got three extra. Probably could do with setting up a breeder, but. To sort that out at a later date. Can't get out. There we are. Have a quick look round. So there's plenty of this rubber tree, so I don't really know if I should add that or not. Um, any of these right? Won't mind a few pairs. Oops. And one more, maybe? Nope, that one's not ready yet. Here you are. That's cool. Some pears. What can we use these for? Poached pear, 
fruit crumble. Oh, that sounds nice in more ways than one. Uh, fruit salad. Fruit punch. Okay, that's cool. Uh, pear saplings. All right, I might make one of them. Do I actually need an oak sapling though? Uh, pear yogurts. Let's see. Ah, I like the look of this. Was it the pan harvest craft? Yeah. Only half a hu hunger bar though. That's a, a bit of a shame, but not too worried. What's that there? I I always, I always like spotting things like this. It's a sunken ship. Is this the one that I found on the first episode, or is this another one? Or is what the, is that the one that I, I can't see it now? Disappeared on me. Well, if it's there, it's going to be far too deep. I would need some scuba gear of some sort. Right, anyway, let's head back home and then hopefully we can make these gliders. Gliders? <laughs> gliders. I cannot talk today. I'm making up an old language. You're probably used to that anyway. Well, let me just get home. And then hopefully we should be good to go. And see how well we do for flying. I'll probably need a jetpack or something to go with it. Which uh, would be nice to add on to this armor. Hmm. Probably make it too OP though. <laughs> oh. Right then, let's make some gliders now put the steel in there didn't I? okay so we need two of these one and two okay i thought i had enough for oh well never mind oh just me and there are the gliders so that's that done so we need 15 levels we've already got 14 and there's 16. so i think oh i think all you do there is Put that up there, I do apologise for my steam going down, and we have got gliders on there, excellent. So I presume, I don't know exactly how to activate them, if there's any visual difference, no. Okay, well let's go up onto a hill, and see if this works. Open. it's just going to be like a normal glider, but if not, it's not going to be. Oh, bang, that was a, that didn't work. No, don't, don't this work? Do I actually have to do something to activate the gliders? Let's have a look in the control systems. Um. Hmm. I've altered this. Uh, I see two inventory mechanism minimap controls. Okay, miscellaneous movement, multiplayer, open blocks, railcraft, simply back jetpacks, tinkers construct. Hmm. Oh, dark steel ar armor. Here we are. Uh, glider toggle. G. Okay. Glider active. Oh, hello. That's cool. Oh, you can't go up, but you can go back down. You can't. Oh, and the glider's gone. <laughs> so it might be only short distances, but that's kind of cool. I like that. That's very cool. You can just about make it from that point to here. So yeah, with an added jetpack, you fly straight up or something, and then you 
quickly switch out of that by probably holding it in your hand and right click and then you can glide. So that's kind of nice. I could have a bit of fun with that. <laughs> so I have a little bit of power of flight in this episode. That's kind of cool. Very cool. Especially with this armor as well. Oh, cool. Right, so what's next? What else do we want to add onto this? Uh, like I say, I want my potion of night vision. That would be very nice. But uh, like I say, I would need to make a brewing stand and whatnot. Uh, I won't mind knowing what these vibrant crystals do. Uh, vibrant crystal. Okay. Uh, emerald. I've got some of them. Vibrant crystals. Vibrant alloys. Uh, ender pearls. Ooh. Okay. Uh, oh, I need glowstone. Darn it. So that means going into the nether and I... Oh, did I actually get some glowstone? Oh, I did. Excellent, excellent, excellent. See, this is me forgetting what I've done and where. So, sorry about that. Okay, so we've got some of that. So glowstone, gold, and... That's so that glowstone can go in there. We can get a bit of gold and some redstone. I'm only going to make one. Actually, I probably need two data. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. No, I think I can manage with one. Okay, cool. That's cool. So we can make some of this, and then well, no, we no, I to make an emerald. Um, an ender pearl. Do I have an ender pearl? I do. That's kind of cool. So I just need to wait for this. Don't need all them in there. Uh, just need a sort this out. Oh yeah, I'm also going to make a uh, upgrade for this as well. I wanted to see if I could make this any faster. Uh, so I might try and do that before I finish off this episode. Uh, I need to get the I.O. system up. There it is. Come on, I wish they'd fix this. <laughs> uh, it's fine that it's not working, but it's starting to get a little bit annoying in places. Right, what am I after? I am after the upgraded energy thing. Okay, that one. Cold or electrical steel. That's probably what I was trying to make last time. But one vibrant alloy. Okay, cool. Let's find the ammo. Should be in here. Good. Keep it all closed. Thank you. That's that. And vibrant crystal. Okay. Uh, how many levels did this need? Uh, it needed twenty levels. Okay, not too bad. Hope I can get that with eating these. Oh, ho, ho, three off. Any zombies about? Hopefully, we can kill a few of them. Oh, look at that. There's a cow just there. How nice. There's a couple of creepers. They'll do. And a couple of spiders as well. Nice. Eighteen. Help. Oh, down. Okay, that's a hole to fix. Never mind. But that didn't even scratch me, that explosion. That's cool. That's a good test for this armor. <laughs> hey, nice method of getting around. Whoa, okay. Still on 18. Come on, we can do this. I know we can. Where's the horde of zombies that you need? There they are, all hiding on that little island. Can we make it across there? Hey guys, come to join the party. Ok, 
Okay, down half a heart. Fighting this stuff a lot. Uh, at least we're getting a little bit of leather. Uh, bottom plus for leather as well. Okay, so we're on 20 levels. Let's finish these guys off. Another hole. <laughs> Never mind. Fix them later. Oh wow, you really drop in water. You can swim, but as soon as you let go, you sink really, really quickly. I don't know if that's something to do with the armor. But it's a lot harder to swim, so I might need those flippers. Okay, so. Good and bad points on another creeper. They are team force tonight, those creepers. So let's see if we can't avoid that guy and. Oh! Baby zombies. And let's just see if we can't get home and see what this vibrant crystal does. Excuse me. He went around earlier. You have missed the fun. Go away, baby. Uh, That's kind of cool. I do like the glide. Really do like that. A little bit faster, even with just a little bit of a jump. Right, so let's eat up. So heal up. Get rid of the night before the hordes do approach. And we shall see another zombie head. Uh, what we can do, uh, where should I put this one? Probably on the leggings. Let's see what we get with this. 20 levels empowered. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay, I see. It adds F onto it, so if I add that into there... Ah, that's what it does. That is very, very cool. And that gives me more extra armor as well, so that would be worth doing on all of these then. I presume I can... There you go. I can put a speed potion on there now. Potion of Swiftness. Empowerment 2. Basic Capacitor and 10 levels. That's nice. I'm starting to like this armor a lot. A very lot. So it looks like I've got a little bit of grinding to do and I'm going to end the episode there and then hopefully we can get this armor even better than what it is already. I just have to be careful while swimming. Uh, but obviously if you know anything that will help me upgrade this armor do leave that in the comment section and as always if you have any useful advice or feedback do leave that and if you have any hints, tips or suggestions do leave them as well. But until next time Thank you very much for joining me. Goodbye.